So, good afternoon. Since some of you have bought the Seath kit test now, and I repaired one already for one of the viewers, uh, he had bought of eBay, and the other one had a question on how to set this up. Well, the first thing is when you unpack this and you get it, the first adjustment you make is here in the front that your needle sits exactly at the balance mark, which is this mark right here in the middle where it says balance. That's the first one. Every time you move this, this thing is going to move like this, the needle. You have to set it down and you move it. Then you turn the whole unit over and you remove these four screws. This is before you do anything on the vehicle itself. It's pretty easy. Now you lift off the wheel and you will see all the parts in here. You have a switch which has a normal position and calibrate. And what you do is you move this now down here. You have a potentiometer here and a potentiometer here. This is the one we're going to use now for this adjustment. And you turn this around and what I did is here is I have my power supply here because I don't have a car battery. You can do this out by the car. Don't start your car yet. What you do is you hook up these two leads to your 12 volt battery, plus, minus, plus, minus. And then we turn this on and you can see this. And now what we're going to do with the potentiometer here in the back, with this one here, we're going to adjust this that it reads exactly 15. I'm going to show you this. See this, I have the room for the adjustment. That is the first one you have to adjust. Okay. And you can lay it down and see where you are. And if it needs a little bit more trim, it needs a little bit more trim. The meters were made. That's a little bit too much. Well, we're not quite there yet. And there is minimal, minimal movements. A little bit more. Yep. Not yet. There we go. That is pretty good. Um, these potentiometers have moved in years. So what you may want to do is do this a few times to just move them because they sat for so long and then you can go back here and readjust this until you get it as close. You want it exactly uh, at 15. This is your calibration basically. And now we got it exactly at 15. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the power. That means you disconnect it from the battery and the needle should go right back to balance. And that's basically it. Now we can close this. We put the switch back to normal in the up position here. Oh, and when you check this, you want to make sure that light bulb comes on. That's a current limiter they're using in there. Uh, now we're going to put this back in here. We put our four screws in, and now the unit is ready to go to the car. Let me just see that I get the screws back in. Get the first one in. Second one in. Yeah. Uh, 
I usually lay the meter down. Some people, they like to set it up or they, you know, it has these hooks on it where you can actually put this on your side window and you can just come down and put it in the window like this. I like to lay them down. So now comes the setup for the balance. And this is normal what you just saw when you hook this first up to the um, battery. And now you see that this is no longer sitting at the balance. And now you see this here, back here, it says balance. By the way, the instructions are here on the back of the unit. So the first thing is before you start the car, you hook this thing up to the battery and uh, you set this up here. Now we need a flat screwdriver for this. We go into this potentiometer here. And as you can see, you can now go into either direction. It will take a while to follow you. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this again to balance. This is a little bit tricky. It moves with a delay. And now you have to calibrate it to be at your starting point. I gotta go a little bit I think to the left. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. This adjustment has to be made every time you use this. You don't have to do the one on the inside or this one here, but this is the one every time you set this up on the car, you wanna see this, you can see this, the. Uh, the meter reacts differently when it lays flat, so you have to compensate for this. It's a little bit tricky, but with some practice it will go. Let me see, yep. Okay, now it is balanced. And now what happens is, this thing has two sensors in it, two NTCs basically. One has a hole and that pipe basically comes in from here and blows the exhaust gas in and the other one is closed off on the other side and it basically warms up unevenly and it is that differential what we're measuring. And then basically all you do is you take this pipe, you open this up and you insert this here like this, turn the screw until it is securely locked in there. And you set this next to the muffler like this, and this end goes into the muffler. So you want the muffler here, and this unit underneath the muffler, so the exhaust gas blows out. You wanna be behind on the other side of the exhaust gases. Then you turn on the engine, you let the car run to operating temperature, and then you will see that this number is going to drop down and you should be on the you're reading the lowest number here the co level and uh, that will give you the idea where you need to be uh ideally on the uh four and six cylinders 0 0.5 on the v8s between one to two you definitely want to stay below two on the v8s and then you can adjust your mixture control and like I said is the balance has to be adjusted every time you hook this up to the car because the balance adjustment depends on the ambient temperature these two temperature sensors are exposed to so every time you run the system you want to make sure before you stick this thing into the exhaust and you start the measuring is that this is set to balance I hope that explains everything